Hello and welcome back. This is Rakhi here and today we are going to paint a emperor penguin with its chick. I am going to mainly use a light yellow and any orange color here and for the dark portions I have used um, indigo or I have mixed indigo with some of the uh, any dark red color to get uh, a little gray color for the uh, penguin chick body. So if you see in the right hand side, I have already mixed that color. You can use any dull gray color. So I have first used, uh, I have first wet the body of the penguin, the bigger penguin with some water. Make sure it is not too much of water. And then I am giving the initial wash with a very light yellow mix. So near the eye or the head portion, I have given more color. And on the body, it's a very, very thin layer of yellow for the chicks body's first layer we have wetted it and then i have just dabbed with the tip of brush some of the gray mix because we want to make it look a little bit fuzzy so i have painted the whole body similarly and towards the right side of the body we are going to paint uh, we are going to drop some more color because if you see in the reference photo it is a bit darker so we are just dropping a color with the tip of the brush this is a six number brush you can also use a four number brush if you want I am also dropping the same grey color below the wing just to uh, make an impression of a rounded cylindrical body we are giving these two shades on the uh, uh, both sides of the body we are just dropping some color i have dabbed some of the paint of the chick's body to uh, give some highlight of the gray color here i am rewetting the head area and giving a wash of little bit darker yellow or orange mixed with yellow and with a pure orange color and just giving some details on the beak here the second mix which I have mixed is it's an indigo and with indigo I have mixed some of the uh, ultramarine blue or you can also mix any burnt sienna to make it darker if you want you can also use uh, out of the tube uh, black color or out of the tube paints gray mixed with little bit of blue so with the same paint I am giving details on the wing and for the wing I have used uh, water sometimes on my brush and sometimes I am using the pure pigment so that it does not looks uh, purely flat black so if you see now I am just spreading the same color with some water I have also tried to give some of the soft edges on one of the wings and we will try to leave a thin line in between the wing and the body area so that it looks a bit distinct. This part I have painted with a number 2 brush. It's a synthetic hair brush. For the details it is better to use a synthetic hair brush because you can control the amount of water so with the same paint we are going to define more of the um, the black part of the big penguins body this is an emperor penguin which has a distinct head with very bright yellow and orange shades and uh, these are um, one of the biggest um, species of penguins. For the feet, I have used the same black mix of indigo and ultramarine blue. And I'm not putting too much details into the feet because if you see in the reference photo, it's just an impression that there are feet there, but we can't really see the details on the wings, uh, on the feet. I've just given few specks of paint on the chick body just to show some detail. 
it is optional you can leave it as is also you can draw the eyes uh, with any thin liner or brush is also fine I'm just putting a bit of thin lines with a very dry brush and a very less um, uh, dark mix now we are going to paint the rest of the head and be very careful because it's a dark color so it will not be it will not be able to fix too much of the mistakes here so be very careful if you're not confident you can also draw the line with a thin pencil or a black liner and then fill in the color inside because I had to capture it in the camera I was not able to uh, put my hands properly you can use a white paper and then you can put a white paper below your hand and then you can paint it uh, by holding the brush near to the ferrule here I have mixed uh, my favorite shadow shape color which is ultramarine plus burnt sienna and we are just putting little shadows uh, for the chick as well as for the head of the beaker penguin if you see in the reference photo the shadow is also there on the ground but uh, because I wanted to keep it simple I haven't drawn any ground for this um, small painting so you can just put a thin wash of shadow uh, below the beak of the big penguin and near the chick the so same way uh, we did with little bit gray the shadow mix also we are putting towards the bottom of the body so if you see now you can make out that it's a very round and fat body for the penguin that's why we are giving more shades on the right and left the middle part or the stomach part we have left it as is I gave one more layer of the black wash and it is done so we are finished here um, if you guys try to paint it out please post the link please post the link on the uh, comments and I'll surely check it out also if you want me to paint certain birds please post it in the comments and I'll try to incorporate that in my list See you next week with another interesting bird video. Till then, bye bye and take care.